Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and today is a very exciting day if you have fast internet. And that is a sad exception that applies to so many people, including myself. Because if you guys don't know, today is the day that Ash finally releases across all platforms on PC, but more importantly, on console. Normally what I would do once a new hero gets released is I would do a first look on console video where I'd record gameplay showing you the new hero on console, and I plan to do it. However, going off of what I said at the beginning of the video, the only way that you can play the brand new hero Ash is if you practically re-download the game because this update isn't a one gigabyte update it's not a five gigabyte update at least for xbox this is a 19 gigabyte <laughs> <laughs> so me being the immature child, I can't wait for this update to finish to make a video talking about Ash being live while also having console footage. So to make up for the lack of console footage, I'm just having this PTR footage that I recorded when she was actually on the PTR. Hopefully you guys can understand that, but for the rest of the video, I will, I'm gonna do what I normally do for a first look on console video, just without the console look. What? <laughs> so once you get past this 19 gigabyte update or whatever it is on PlayStation and PC, <laughs> which by the way, just update it while you're at school or while you're sleeping, leave your PlayStation and Xbox on so that when you wake up, you can finally play the new hero. But when you actually get your hands on the brand new hero, it's gonna be an exciting time. Why? Because you get to see Thick Boy Bob, bruh. <laughs> oh yeah, and you get a, a cool BA girl like Ash, but the great thing about Ash when compared to other heroes, other than the fact that Bob is now finally in the game, is that when you actually do get your hands on Ash after the 19 gigabyte update, to really practice the core mechanics and to really understand the hero, you don't need the enemy or team aspect. You don't need to play in quick play arcade to really understand Ash. A turn off about Ash is that she's a high skilled hero that takes a lot of practice, but that practice isn't needed in quick play isn't needed in arcades so one thing i kind of suggest everyone to do pc or console players is to simply go into an autobot training method and really practice aiming go into the roots of overwatch just practice your aim with ash and you're going to get the core mechanics down when compared to mora you know you really needed your team there to practice healing and knowing when to use your heal or damage ball with hammond you really needed the enemy team there because you need to know when to go in dive use your shield with ash Ash, you don't need all that extra noise. You just simply need to be able to practice your primary form of fire, aim for the head, and you'll be solid, my guy. So while the primary form of fire is still gonna be your main form of DPS, one thing that I kind of noticed in my time of the PTR is that you know, TNT is a lot more valuable than what I made it out to be. You know, I kind of downplayed TNT. I made it seem like it was gonna be this ability that wasn't gonna compare to her primary form of fire. But that's not really the case at all. While this is going to be a very hard ability to get down, this is something that, while it's not like too game changing, it's still something that's going to separate great Ash players from God tier Ash players. One, because they're actually able to hit that tiny stick of TNT, but two, they're actually able to get multiple people and do DPS over time. And that is such kind of a, a unique ability, something that we don't really see in Overwatch other than like with Torbjorn and, and his ultimate ability. That being said, this is another thing that you can easily practice in the Onabot training method, just really practicing your skeet shooting, because this is something that we haven't really seen in Overwatch the ability to throw something but also then shoot it and at first it's really hard one because it's such a tiny little target but two you really need to get down the the, the throwing distance this is one thing that I constantly had trouble with but once you actually get the angles down from like where you're throwing it and also the distance Oh my god, <laughs> not only are you going to be able to hit that tiny stick of TNT, meaning that you can hit any kind of target, but you're also going to be able to get multiple forms of DPS rather than just the primary form of fire. And that's about all I have to say about Ash. Really, I just wanted to take this video to, one, tell you guys about the update, tell you guys to get that update done, man, because it's going to take a while, and two, to talk about the things I later discovered in my time with Ash in the PTR uh, that you didn't already know, because if you want to see the ability and go with kind of a more in-depth look at Ash. I already kind of made a video looking at it in my first gameplay with Ash on PTR. Unfortunately, I really wanted to take this video to show you the first look on console, but uh, 19 gigabytes, it's only at 11% right now by the time I'm ending this video. So yeah, I... <laughs> 
I'm not going to be playing Overwatch anytime soon, but let me know what you think of Ash. Let me know if you finally updated Overwatch, because my boys, this is going to be an annoying update. So, I'll see you guys later. More Overwatch videos to come. Uh, a guide, maybe. I want to try to do an Ash guide, because I feel like this is going to be a very popular hero, but an easy hero to really explain. I mean, I kind of already did it, but people are going to be overthinking Ash. You don't need to overthink Ash. Just <sighs> practice her. Take a deep breath. And then she'll be live and competitive for everyone to use. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More of our videos to come. And bye.